Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing well. Today I have an exciting reveal for you. Um, there will be a little bit of a story time, but before I get started, a few things. Uh, one, it is raining in San Francisco again, and I'm filming by the window. I've noticed that there's been a lot of heavy rain, so if you hear any noise from the window, that is probably what that is, so I wanted to apologize in advance for that. And then secondly, this will be my last video for a few weeks because I'm going on vacation. So I will be gone for the next few weeks, but hopefully I will have some good unboxings to share when I come back. So wanted to just give you guys a quick heads up about that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So to give you a hint, this will be kind of related to my fine jewelry video, which I filmed maybe about a year ago. I can't quite remember. So I will link to that if you guys missed it or you just want a refresher because this item that I'll be revealing to you is sort of related to an item in that video. Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead and reveal this. So this just arrived in FedEx and um, unfortunately it just came with a pouch. Uh, it's kind of soft-sided pouch. Uh, it, it does have some structure to it, but it isn't like a very sturdy box like I kind of expected it to show up in. So that was a little bit disappointing. I have to say that they just sent it to me like this, um, but let's go ahead and reveal it. So open it up and here it is and let's see here so there's a little uh i don't know what this is i guess this is to keep it in place and here is my newish watch well it's an old watch but i will get to that in a little bit and let's see what else is in here so it looks like there is a customer service warranty hopefully you guys can see that as well as some information about the watch so that is good to have and let's look at this a little bit more closely okay so if you watched my other video on my jewelry collection this might look kind of familiar to you and that is because this is a watch that i had that i had uh worn a lot when i was in my 20s and it was part of their be happy collection so hopefully you guys can see that there are those three little floating diamonds in the center I'm trying to move them around a little bit yeah so they move around as the watch moves which is really kind of nice i like that it is very subtle luxury right like they're not the kind of diamonds that are super flashy in your face in fact i feel like most people wouldn't even really notice that they're diamonds unless you're looking at the watch super super closely and there's just something about that everyday understated luxury that I personally just really like so it's kind of like a little secret like if you know you know type thing and so anyway so I will insert a photo of the old watch but basically the strap uh the bezel part was a uh, rubber yellow and then the strap was also a rubber yellow and I had worn that watch so much I think that was my everyday watch in college and for most of my 20s but I would say that as I've grown a little bit older, I have stopped wearing it as much and mostly just because I have had this now and this is my everyday watch and this was my mom's. She's still around, but she just wasn't wearing this anymore. So she passed it down to me and I did get the strap replaced and this is from Cartier and I absolutely adore this watch. It's such a comfortable everyday watch. Um, I love it so, so much. And so what had happened with the yellow version, the original version, is that it just wasn't really getting anywhere and the battery had died and it just it hadn't been serviced in years. I, a few months ago, I was in New York and I took the watch with me and I took it in because I had a few questions, mostly just because with the original watch, with the bezel, as you can see, it's black rubber right here. The bezel on the original watch was yellow and I didn't know if they could change that out. Like I had no idea if that was even possible to change out at all. And so, and also the watch really needed to be serviced. So the sales associate wasn't sure. He said we'd have to send it in to the repair center to see if it's possible to get that changed out. And then he was like, if we do get it changed out, we can only change it to the same material. So it's still gonna be rubber. And so he, he looked at the options, but the, so the color options were pretty limited. They had red and blue and then this black. And originally I didn't really want a black watch because I thought that was kind of plain. And I kind of thought it'd be fun to have I don't know just something a little bit different but the but i just wasn't really drawn to the other colors so i was kind of like okay let's do black if they can do it and i was just like if they can't change out the bezel part at all then i'll just send it back to me because i'm not really sure what i'm going to do with the watch so after a few weeks my sales associate emailed me and he said good news they can change out the yellow bezel and replace it with the black rubber bezel and i was like okay great and then you know i did tell him i wasn't interested in keeping the rubber strap just because it just really wasn't my style anymore um so i looked at some black options and i picked this um, alligator one which 
is really nice. Hopefully you guys can see that texture a little bit. I was a little bit worried at first because they obviously don't match, but from the photos he sent me, and he sent me a lot of photos really to help me kind of decide and choose, I kind of felt like it would look okay. And actually now that I have it in my hands, I actually think it looks really great. And so you can see from the bezel, the bezel looks kind of um, like this matte black, but the watch strap itself is this kind of shiny alligator. And I don't know, I just really like the contrast so much more than I thought I would. I was a little bit apprehensive at first because I was really worried that like it just wouldn't look right. But I actually think this looks great. What do you guys think? I really like the way that the contrast with the matte bezel and then the shiny strap look together. I also just really like that it has this palladium finish, which um, my current watch is has a gold finish. So let me take this off really quickly. So you guys can see, and let's try to compare them side by side, um, just that they're very different, right? They're both really good classic watches, but this one, the Cartier, it has a round face with that gold finish, and this one has a square face with that palladium finish and those floating diamonds. So yeah, I think that it's really nice to change it up a little bit, and now that I have some options, and yeah, I'm actually really, really happy about this. I it just turned out a lot better than I expected it to. I will say for pricing, this was definitely an investment. I had to get a new battery. I had to get an, I had to get it fully serviced. They had to replace a lot of the extra parts that because they were just basically like in not very good condition. So this is almost like having a brand new watch, except not. And then the strap also cost a couple hundred dollars. So all in all, after everything, after taxes and everything, I spent just a little over a thousand dollars, which I feel like that's definitely an investment, but it was one that I was happy to make because now I have a watch that I'm going to use and it's not just going to sit on my vanity collecting dust anymore. And the other thing about the rubber strap, which I didn't know this apparently, but rubber, if you don't use it and wear it, it can dry out and then it snaps. And so the strap itself was, was broken when I took it to New York. So I really wanted to make the switch to a leather strap. But again, I was a little bit worried because I just wasn't sure that they can make it work. But I have to say, you guys, I think they did a really, really great job. I love the way that this looks. I also, uh, and again, I, I mentioned this earlier, but my only other thing is I really wish they had sent me an actual box and not just this like pouch, which this pouch is definitely really nice. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I was definitely expecting the kind of box that you get when you go shopping at Cartier or Van Cleef or something like that. And that wasn't the case, but that's all right. But yeah, that is my fine jewelry update. I'm super, super excited to have gotten this watch fixed and spruced up and it's basically a brand new watch. I am very excited to have this back and now that it's another watch that I can just wear every day and enjoy. So very pleased with how everything turned out. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that would also mean the world to me. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you in a few weeks. Take care. Bye.